Hello, peeps. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe. This is your host, Joe. Today, I'm going to talk about shitty airlines without saying any names or mentioning the airlines. I'm going to tell you guys a story and I'm going to give you my thoughts on what the situation was. So we went for a family trip to California and we decided we decided to drive and my mom and my sisters and everybody else decided to fly. They they thought that they were going to feel they're going to get there in a few hours and they're going to feel fresh and they're going to be ready to roll. And uh, we were like, okay, whatever. We're not going to spend, you know, $1,400 or whatever on a flight. We like to drive. We like to look at things. We like to uh, look at restaurants and places and things on the way there just to, uh, you know, maybe we want to stop there another day or like, oh, that's pretty cool. We didn't know that existed. And we just like to sightsee. And uh, that's, if it's way too far, we're not going to drive. We'll drive to California. We'll drive to the surrounding states. But obviously, we're not going to drive to New York. We're not going to drive to Chicago. You know, it's too far, 36 hours away, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So my, my dad's all like, yeah, we're flying, man. We're going to meet you guys out there and we can go to dinner. So we're like, that's cool. So we drove, right? We drove and uh, we got there and I don't know, it was like five and a half hours, six hours. There was some traffic and we we uh, stayed in Glendale, California. So we got to the hotel and uh, we're waiting, we're waiting and no answer, right? They're still, we're still waiting for them and uh, we're like, we're hungry. So we text, we text my sister and we're like, you know what, we're just going to, we're going to end up uh we're not going to be able to join you guys for dinner. So we're just going to go have dinner guys. And we'll see you guys tomorrow at the, at the theme park. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. We just got to the airport. This was, I don't know, six o'clock or something like that. It was really late. So long story short, uh, we go to the park and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, the next day, you know, we, on, on a Sunday, we're like, all right, let's go. You know, everybody packs up and, uh, we're driving, they're flying, of course, and we're driving, we're on our way back to Arizona. And then all of a sudden I get a text message and it's my mother. And she's all like, the plane got canceled. And I was like, what? So we were like, what, what do you mean it got canceled? She's like, yeah, it got canceled. And so she's texting me, right? So I, I tell my wife, I'm like, text my mom, see what the hell is going on. So she's texting her. I think my wife was texting my sister and they're going back and forth and you know, I'm basically just hearing what she's telling me. And she's like, yeah, it was canceled and there's no flights until Tuesday. And I was like, what? Yeah. So, so this airline canceled them, canceled their flight till Tuesday. So my, my dad and my brother and I was and everybody, you know, obviously they, they were like, what the heck, you know, we have to go back to work and you know, everybody works on Monday and this is bull crap. Right. So they're like, yeah, it's canceled and uh, we'll give you, we'll give you credit for for whatever's left, right, of of the, you know, of the return flight. So they couldn't give them another, they couldn't give them another flight back. They couldn't help them out. They just basically said, fuck you. We Here's your, you know, there's nothing we can do for you. Screw you. I tend to have a problem with that. And not just because it's, it was my family that it happened to. I tend to have a problem like that because companies like that seem to get away and take advantage of people like us. And not only just us, they take advantage of a lot of people. So I asked them, what was the excuse, right? What did they say? And they're like, well, they said that the, you know, the visibility or whatever. I'm like, what do you mean? There's planes, there's planes taking off from there. What visibility? It's not like there was a storm. It rained like a little bit. On a, on a Saturday, we were at the theme park, like very, very little. And the next day, Sunday, it was like nothing. There was no rain. There was nothing. We know we drove from Hollywood 
from Glendale to Arizona. There was no rain. There was no nothing. So uh, we're like, yeah, we don't know why. They just maybe they're maybe there's they, somebody said that they told them that they were short staffed that they didn't they were short short staffed pilots and we're like that's that's not see this is what I mean guys that is not our problem like I don't give a rat's ass if you're short staffed on flight on um, pilots or whatever the hell you're short staffed on people are booking flights you shouldn't book any flights if you know that you're short staffed okay once that flight is booked and you accept it and you have that itinerary or whatever and you give it to the people, you have to, you you as a company, as an airline company, have to provide. If you don't provide the services that were paid for, I feel that they should return the whole money back. Like the whole trip should be reimbursed. Not just half the trip. Oh, well, we took you one way and you made it there. Bullshit. I bought a round trip ticket and you have to, you have to fulfill the full, full, like the, the whole ticket, right? Round trip. And if you don't fulfill it, you have to give me back, you have to give me back my money, not some bullshit ass credit. And I feel that that's what has to be done. Like that is not our problem. Okay. That it's not our problem that you don't have a pilot, or it's not our problem that you don't have people, or it's not our problem that whatever the excuse is. That is not our problem. People are paying for flights. And that's what I mean. You always hear about it. Well, oh, my plane got canceled because of this. Oh, we didn't have a pilot. Oh, my plane, oh, the, you know, this and that. Oh, we, it's, it's bullshit. It's just bullshit. People pay a lot of money for these things. And how about, I was telling my wife, how about, if you had to be at work Monday and you had to be there, you were going to get fired. Hey, man, I can't make it there because the plane was canceled till Tuesday and you're like in the East Coast. You lose your job. Why? Because they're bullshit. It, it shouldn't be that way. It should at least be we're going to reimburse the whole trip back. That way you can get a different airline to take you back home or you can go rent a car or you can do whatever to go back home. But they don't give you the fucking money. They just like, oh, we're going to give you credit for, for one way. For what? You know what I mean? I think they should give you credit for everything, reimburse you for the whole thing if they if they fail to to provide a service. I mean, that's just the way it is, right? That's just the way it is. If that was us, they would like, tear us up and sue us and take everything away from us. But because they're a huge corporation or airlines, you know, they have people that protect them with all the money and they can get away with doing whatever the hell they want to you, you know, and we know a little bit about the airlines. My sister was an air stewardess. So we, so we know, or it's not an air stewardess, a flight attendant or whatever they call them. So we know, like, you know, my, we're not stupid. Like my sister used to do this and, uh, you know, because I know there's going to be some people that are going to be like, oh, you don't know shit about it. This is what I think. You don't know shit. Okay. My sister was a, was a flight attendant and, you know, she obviously was fully involved because guess what? Her, her ticket was part of the, cause there was eight of them, eight of them that came here that went to California and they were going to go back to Arizona. So one of those eight was my sister that used to work for, I can't remember what company it was, but it's a, it's a big company, obviously a big airline. And, um, it was, it's just, to me, it's bullshit. It's just, to me, it should be as simple as if you don't fulfill that, you know what, we're going to give you back your money or, you know what, we're going to look for another airline and pay your ticket back. Great customer service, right? great customer service you're gonna be like oh well how about if there was you know 200 people in the plane well then you're gonna have to get 200 fucking people somehow you know you're gonna get 20 people in one fucking airline and you're gonna give 20 people back their money reimburse their money because guess what my family had to still rent a car wait wait rent cars because they try to find flights and it was a sunday and they had to rent cars and drive all the way back to Arizona. So, I mean, to me, it wasn't right. 
And like I said, it's not if it's my family because it's my family. It could be any some other people. But it's it's bullcrap that we have to go through that. That they can just cancel you like that, and that's it. They don't even give you your money back. They they just give you credit for another flight. You know, so it's just it just makes it just to me it just makes no sense. To me, it should they should be held accountable. They should have a certain standard that the airlines should have for us. Because if it wasn't for us that we need to fly from coast to coast or whatever, if it wasn't for us, you guys wouldn't make any ba- any any money. You know what I mean? So I feel like they should have a little bit better customer service. I feel like they should at least be honest about what they're saying. I, I know that they told them a bunch of different stories on why there was no, on why there was no, uh, why the flight flight was canceled. I also made a comment to my wife, like I was like, you know what? I bet you there wasn't enough people to board on the way back that they were like, oh screw it, let's just cancel it for a Tuesday, so we can get enough seats filled, so we don't have to fly all the way back with only eight passengers and spend all that fuel. It could be, but you know what? It's still shitty because if these people paid for it, you need to provide the service. It doesn't matter if there's four people in the fucking plane. You need to provide. You need to provide the service. They paid for that. It's not their problem that you don't have the whole plane full. That's your problem. Maybe the fucking ticket shouldn't be that high. Maybe you should lower down your tickets, right? Maybe you should make it a little bit cheaper to be able to fly. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't charge for bags. Do something, right? But if you shouldn't, you sh- because of whatever is going on with your company or whatever you guys are doing, that shouldn't affect the people that already bought their tickets to have their stuff planned. That's why it's called planned. That's why when you go to a site like a travel agency site or anything that you're trying to travel and you're booking stuff and you're trying to plan for it, that's why it's called planned because you want to leave on this date and you're going to come back on this date. And that's why the airlines tell you, well, we have this date, but if you leave at this time, it's this much. And if you leave on Tuesday, it's this much. It's called planned. If that was the case, then we wouldn't plan shit and we would just take whatever the hell was available. But it's called planned. I think once you planned it and you planned a round trip and it's already planned and it's accepted, you should be responsible for those people to make it to and back because they paid for a service. That's all I got to say. Sorry about that. I was kind of, I got caught up on this and I was hitting the the table, the desk, and it's kind of shaking like, like an earthquake. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could be completely wrong about this and um, I could be uh, a little bit way off, you know, on the way I'm thinking about this, but I just feel that that's, that's the way it should be. You know, and if that was, if, if we held them to a higher standard, I think that those companies will be a lot better, especially with customer service. You know, that if, I feel like if, if they were held to something like that, like I said many times, if they were held to a higher standard, I think their customer service will be better and they would treat us better. They would treat people better. And uh, because in the end, we are the customers. We are the people paying to travel. So it goes both ways. You need us. You need us for you guys to take us around, and we need you to jump in the plane, and you can take us to Hawaii or whatever you need to take us. Right? We need both of each other. We need we need both of us to to make it work because you're just not gonna go around the United States in a fucking plane with one person. You need all of us, right? You need people to fill up those seats, right? But if people have stuff planned then you should fulfill the service. That's all I got to say, folks. That's all I got to say. You guys can, um, you know, I'm going to post this stuff on, uh, on, on YouTube. So you're more than welcome to go down in the comments and tell me what you think, you know, or go on Twitter. I'm on Twitter a lot. I am trying my best to be on, to get on Instagram and, and be more active. You know, Instagram is hard. You know, even with the paid ads and all kinds of stuff. I mean, Instagram is very, very hard. On Twitter, it's a little different. And uh, you can go on my Twitter. Everything is at Bull Talk by Joe. You will find me. You will find me on all the sites, TikTok, Instagram, except for Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. But you can find me um, 
on all those. But yeah, I'm going to post these up on YouTube, these solo, solo videos. And uh, you can, you're more than welcome to comment or comment on my Twitter and let me know like, Hey, you know, I don't think you're right about this or whatever. And, and I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? I, that's just, it's my opinion on how I feel at the moment that I'm recording the show. And like I said, I want it. I'm not going to plan this and I'm going to plan what to say. I want stuff to come out how they're supposed to come out. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. And if it comes out the wrong way, it came out the wrong way. And then later I will apologize or later I'll fix it. Like, you know, but I'm speaking in the moment and I feel I am telling you what I feel. Simple, simple as that. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. And uh, until next time, peace.